Almighty God and Father, we worship you. 
We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. Lord Jesus, Son of the Father, Lord God of God, you take away our every sin. swine's flesh. One of them, acting as their spokesman, said, What do you intend to ask and learn from us? But we are ready to die rather than transgress the law of our fathers. And when he was at his last breath, he said, You accused wretch, you dismiss us from this present life. But the king of the universe will raise us up to an everlasting renewal of life because we have died for his laws. After him, the third was the victim of their sport. When it was demanded, he quickly put out his tongue and courageously stretched forth his hands and said nobly, I got these from heaven and because of his laws, I disdain them. And from him, I hope to get them back again. As a result, the king himself and those with him were astonished at the young man's spirit, for he regarded his sufferings as nothing. When he too had died, they tortured the fourth in the same way, and when he was near death, he said, One cannot but choose to die at the hands of men, and to cherish the hope that God gives of being raised again by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your response be, when I awake, O Lord, I shall be filled with the vision of your presence. Together. O Lord, hear a cause that is just. Pay heed to my cry. Turn your ear to my prayer. No deceit is on my lips. Your response. 
When I awake, O oh Lord, I shall be filled with the vision of your presence. I kept my steps firmly in your paths. My feet have never faltered. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O oh God. Turn your ear to me. Hear my words. Your response? When I awake, O oh Lord, I shall be filled with the vision of your presence. Guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. As for me, in justice I shall behold your face. When I awake, I shall be filled with the vision of your presence. Your response? When I awake, O oh Lord, I shall be filled with the vision of your presence. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brethren, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Finally, brothers, pray for us that the word of the Lord may speed ahead and be honored, as happened among you, and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men. For not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. That, and we have confidence in the Lord about you, that you are doing and will do the things that we command. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kind you guys. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, hallelujah, by the blood of Christ we stand. Every time, every tribe, every people, every land, giving glory, giving honor. Giving praise into the lap of the heart. Giving praise into the lap of the heart. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, there came, there came to Jesus some Sadducees those who deny that there is a resurrection. And they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, having a wife but no children, the man must take the widow and raise up offsprings for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first took a wife, and died without children. And the second and the third took her. And likewise, all seven left no children and died. Afterwards, the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had her as wife. And Jesus said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, for they cannot die anymore, because they are equal to angels and are sons 
and daughters of God, being sons of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, even Moses showed in the passage about the bush, where, the, where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now, he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today's reading invites us to two aspects. First, faith and faith in the resurrection. Faith gives us freedom, while resurrection brings meaning to our life. It gives us hope. A short story. There was a curious observation that was made by scientists in an aquarium in Vienna about crabs. It was found that they have small holes where they have the antenna for vision. And in that, they put small pebbles. Now, the question was, why do they put these pebbles in their sockets? They presume that maybe it is for balance. So, they tried an experiment. Before they could shell out, or shed all the skin, they cleared the aquarium of all the pebbles. And then they observed the crabs after having shed their skin, after having molded. And this was the observation. The crabs had no orientation at all. They did not know what is up, what is down. If they were turned upside down, they remained in that position. And if they walked, they walked in an oblique way. And then they realized that these two pebbles in the socket helps the crab to have a sense of balance because every time they move with the pressure that they sense with the stones in their sockets they know where they are they can position themselves dear brothers and sisters we human beings also need a sense of balance we need to know our direction, where we need to walk, where we need to go. In this muddy waters that we travel, we are often faced with a lot of problems. But we have a sense of direction, a sense of goal, where we want to uh, arrive. And in terms of St. Augustine, who says, Pondus Eternitas, which means having the weight of eternity. The resurrection reminds us of that. In the human history, people in the past desire to know what is beyond life. And in this measure, we have seen the great pyramids of Egypt. We have seen the great uh, burials uh, of the Stone Age times. They have so much to tell us. But in Jesus Christ, we understand that He is the resurrection. As He says, I am the way, the truth and the life. I am the resurrection. Look at me. And the scripture also says, remember the end. Because in that you will not sin. Today's first reading and the gospel is an invitation to look at this. You have the seven brothers who are going to uh, fight for their faith and die for their faith. On the other hand, we have the Sadducees who do not believe in the resurrection 
And so they want to find a way to capture Jesus in his words. How, how do we understand these two characters? If you look at the brothers and the mother, in what way did they get that courage to even die and suffer a hideous death? Why did they get that freedom? Because he says that yes, in the end, God will raise us up. I believe in that and therefore I have the freedom to believe what I believe and to act in the way I believe. And Jesus invites us to that kind of faith. Faith is just not an idea. Faith is knowing. If you go to the kitchen and a chef is cooking there, will he put a chili into a dish and say, oh, it may get spicy, it may get... The chef knows that the chili is spicy. He knows, he does not believe, he knows. That is knowing, more than believing. And that is faith. But how do we understand this? A visitor once went to uh, a gallery to see the paintings that were being exhibited. And every time he looked at the painting, he was disappointed. And at the, at the end of it, he was very tired. And he began to complain a lot. Oh, what sort of paintings are these? And he goes and complains to the painter. The painter looks at him with astonishment and says, If only I could give you my eyes to see the paintings from my perspective, then you would make meaning, make sense. The resurrection is not an idea. It is an experience. Experience of the apostles who saw Christ in the apparition, several apparitions, in person. And that is communicated down the generations to us. If only we could see through the eyes of these apostles and understand what true resurrection is. So dear brothers and sisters, let us remind ourselves, as St. Paul says, let not faith only remain in words, but let it, let, let it lead us to action, to a virtuous life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Let us rise and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From okay, there he will come, come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, 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 the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life of the last thing. Amen. God, our loving Father, you gave us the gift of eternal life through your Son, Jesus, our Master and Lord. We ask you to bless us abundantly so that we may live our lives with purpose and clarity. We ask you to enable us to reach our full potential and thus give glory to your name, saying, Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, listen to your children praying. 
for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the Cardinals, the Bishops, the Priests and the Religious, that through their personal example of total detachment, they may encourage their people to lead a life of detachment. We pray, Lord, listen to your children pray. For all the individuals who are blinded by the glitter of this world and have lost the vision of heaven, that they may abandon their hedonistic lifestyles and return to the loving embrace of God, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, your children, children pray. For the terminally ill patients who are languishing in loneliness and pain, that they may take courage from the life and mission of Christ and live out the last days of their lives cheerfully, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, your children pray. pray. For, those, for all those people whose hearts are hardened by sins, that they may turn to Christ, the only one who can assure them a glorious resurrection and eternal life, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, your children, children pray. pray. For all of us gathered in this Eucharistic assembly, that we may realize our folly of placing our faith in the temporal things of this world, and have the courage to set our hearts on the life that lasts forever, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, your children, children pray. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Loving Father, we thank you for having sent your Son, Jesus, to communicate to us your own divine life. Liberate our hearts from the lure of things, persons and possessions that give us only temporary happiness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Look with favor we pray O Lord upon the sacrificial gifts offered here that celebrating in mystery the passion of your son we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only express the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, 
through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the pastoral ministry. And so with all the angels, we praise you as a joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When did we need this friend and drink this cup? We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and drink unto the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Philip Neri our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, for God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day, day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. But only say a word of my soul shall be here. Since we cannot receive Jesus at this moment sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the presence of Jesus who is in us, who dwells in our hearts, who abides in us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be Lord.